How this is going to work is that we're going to look at each of the different boss names in Paper Mario, and we're going to rate them. Now, you have your own tier list yourself, and you get your own rating. We'll give our own comparisons here and there, but the way this actually okay. works is based around, actually, simply enough, the uh, music player. We, our music player. Or should I say the media player? Okay. Whenever you have a media player or, or music, you can then go ahead and give a rating on it. For instance, right. and I have a Tasma's theme, which, let's say hypothetically, I went ahead and give it a rating, and you know what? I can go ahead and rate theme however I want. This is about the older versions of said, you know, media player versions. Or you actually give like a rating of the theme. I think it's actually an older, I don't know which version kind of music thing it is. But how I was going to go about it is we're going to listen to this, each song for one minute, and then decide from there. Now, okay. what you can kind of understand is that this counts all boss themes, even doesn't actually count for one. For instance, the very first Bowser fight theme does actually in fact count as its own theme. Because it's apparently separate. Now, as you will notice, though, in the picture, you'll see we have different Bowsers. We have one Bowser right here. We have a, we have the two sticker Bowsers, which makes perfect sense. We have Bowser getting struck by lightning, which is the first phase of the final fight. You have the strength Bowser there. You have two Paper Mario Bowser. You also have... Where is it? You have Black Bowser... In the first phase, and you have Black Bowser with the red eyes, and you have basically the fake Bowser. But that doesn't really count yeah. as more Koopa Bros. But you have all the different Bowser. Oh, you also have Bowser and Cammy from TTYD. We'll be going through each and every single boss fight in order, and this will make it easier to decide in particular how it is. Now, your stances and your opinions will actually be separate from mine. So, okay. if you like a boss team, please do, and please give your reasons why. If you don't like a boss theme, please explain why you don't like the theme in particular, and why you might think other themes are better. This is just to make All it right. kind of sort of fair, and also, if you are genuinely curious, there is actually I would say enough boss themes I should make it kind of count, because if I checked Notepad, or check the tier list of all Paper Mario boss themes, as a matter of fact, There is actually quite a bit. So, as a matter of fact, since it technically does actually count, so we have, in fact, in total, 16 for Paper Mario 64. We actually have 13 in TTYD. So Paper Mario actually has 15. Sticker Star has 11. There's 10 for Color Splash. And Origami King actually has 14. Now, there is some other boss themes that actually were kind of were skipped and missed for me. So there are some other themes as well, but for this case, there's actually 79, so we'll be dealing with all, all of this. So, where each of these themes will go is entirely dependent on you. So, we'll listen okay. to each theme in order, starting off with Bowser. Oh, what's wrong? No, no, that's every very it. I fixed it. Okay. And that was the first boss theme. So, where would you, where would you get put this theme? Hmm. Where would I put this theme? Uh, let's. 
Hold on, I, I, need, to, I, need, to, I need to scroll through the... Oh, shit. Oh, for, sorry, I almost forgot. I also got to share my screen as well. So I'll share my screen as well so you can... Yeah, I didn't really hear it. That's why I couldn't really hear it. I can't really tell. Shit. Well... You didn't so just hear it. Read... I didn't hear it, so why don't we just retry it? Just or, or, or we do this song again, or we can actually put this off to the side and we'll deal with it later, maybe. We're gonna deal with it later, maybe, yeah. just for the time being. We'll come back to it, okay? Yeah. So first off, we have ourselves the mini boss team. So let me find mini boss. <laughs> or no, hey you, I think. No. Uh... What is the boss team name for the mini boss? Here we go, mini boss. Okay. Wait, no, that's not right. That's. Hold on. Hey you. Okay, that's the theme. That's the theme name. Hey you. That's a, that's what it's called. Okay. Just want to make sure you get the right name of the song. So here it is. How was that theme? Give me your thoughts. Because, well, I think it's kind of basic, in my opinion. Well, granted, this is actually the first, you know, mini boss theme, or probably the first boss theme you really would listen to and hear in the game. Yeah. So let's. So, how would you rate this one? Uh, like I said, I rated it a uh, two star. Yeah, honestly, for me, it's yeah, it's two stars as well for me. As much as I kind of would like enough to not copy you in particular in this sort of way, from I mean, well, not really. It's more three stars. It's more than it's like in the middle. It could easily it could easily go two point five. If I were to do like a rating two point five, that's where it would probably go, you know? Right? Okay. Like yeah. it's not great, but honestly, you have to kind of give it props for being the first one for like a first no. I mean, it's the first boss you probably would hear, well besides well, Junior Troopa, but we'll deal with him actually probably right right now, I think. Okay. Otherwise. Oh yeah, he, Junior Trooper. Oh yeah, him. Or no, let's, let's let's do Goomba King. Here we go. Ready?
Now, what are your thoughts? Hmm. My thoughts? Ugh. Well, I'm kind of like three star. Like, it's good for like the first boss for. I mean, well, it's I mean, technically, you wouldn't really count really as a chapter boss, but because it's part of the prologue, I honestly kind of count it as, as in fact, a chapter boss. In fact, if you really think about it, the Goomba King is the last fight you fight in the prologue before you really reach the Star Hill, you know, for the begin or in the, in the after that prologue ends. You have the Kamek fight at the very end, which is sort of a tutorial. Plus, also, it's the only fight, the last fight you, you fight in particular without the action commands. And honestly, I think a lot of people miss, don't put this in a sort of perspective, and they think, oh, no, no action commands, that really sucks. No, actually, you being limited to a, not, not being able to actually use action commands actually kind of works much better, because when you get it, it's like, oh, yes, now I have the power to defeat Bowser, right? Now you have, now I have yeah. gained an extra power. You've you're, you're ju you're just been beaten by Bowser, s seemingly. So, why not give yourself a chance to actually kind of, you know, regain that power again? So, honestly, I kind of put it three stars, but I put it above the mini-boss team. Yep. Now, the fun part is, in particular, is that when I look back at the list of where I probably have different themes, it's going to be way different. <laughs> so, we're going to Junior Trooper now. So, it's going to be a bit short now, so, uh, yeah. So yeah. yeah, thoughts on this theme? Uh, yeah. Mind you, mind you, mind you, you you did you hear this theme quite a few times, okay? Because he's a reoccurring re re reoccurring fight. He's he's like your rival in the Pokemon games. Yeah, because he like I think he shows he shows up like I'm sure I'm not sure how many times in sixty four. Actually, he shows up. So he is prologue, chapter one, chapter two. I think he doesn't show up. I think five or six times. <laughs> Let me... Yes. And you know what? I'll, I'll look this up right here while you kind of give me your opinion. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yep. Uh, let's see. I think. Uh, what do I want to put him in? Yeah. Thank you, thank okay. you. Two, four, okay. I'm seven I'm battles. Junior Troopa, seven. seven. He's fought seven times, three stars. Yeah. I'll, go, I'll put it three stars. Yeah. Now, I'll put it three stars as well for me. I'll do the praise like for him being like a, a, good, like, a good rival in like, the first Paper Mario game. It's actually, I mean, actually, actually kind of catchy, though, honestly, not going to lie. Honestly, I think I'm going to put up the four stars. It's catchy i mean it's it's simple you know it's simple it's catchy but it works right you know what i mean yeah mm -hmm. now it's really funny though in particular is that my own list of where i put all different themes and stuff is gonna be way different this time around compared to how it is before because i actually as a matter of fact the hey you boss theme actually initially on the notepad i have actually was two stars so i'm guessing my opinion actually kind of could change a little bit, so who knows? So next up is going to be Trojan Bowser. Trojan Bowser. Yes. What is that one? No, no, it looks like it's a fake Bowser. It's a fake Bowser. Oh, the one controlled by the Cooper Bros. Yes. It counts as a boss name, so it counts.
Okay. Your thoughts? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna put in two star. Right. I think. Right. I mean, honestly, it's probably the weakest of the Bowser boss themes overall, I would say. But it's not really a Bowser fight, it's a fake Bowser. I think, I think it's actually sort of like a variation of the Bowser theme in 64. Bowser's actually battle theme, his normal battle theme, I think. So I guess it's kind of a sort of a neat touch. I don't know for sure if somebody actually wants to actually tell me for sure if I'm actually, if I'm actually right or wrong. We can do, I can do with that sort of thing. It doesn't really matter too much. Otherwise, I would say it's decent. I mean, yeah, two stars, I kind of agree with that sort of statement. Next up is Koopa Bros. I'll put these out here first. Honestly, there's a reason why, honestly, I really feel like this is probably the best Chapter 1 for any Paper Mario game. Like, out of all six Paper Mario games, this is by this Chapter 1 of Paper Mario 64 probably at least dominates. And this is me being an Origami King fan. Five stars. I gave him I'm giving it five stars. And trust me, this will probably be the only Chapter 1 boss theme that might end up being you know, as a five star theme. It's funny because I didn't actually hear the song from when I first heard the song. I, it wasn't from Paper Mario 64. Yeah, it was from Super Mario Bros. Z. It does actually help though. But if you listen to that theme based around how the fight. I mean, they're a relatively easy fight, but honestly, it's just. It's cool. It's a it's a really upbeat theme, and honestly, you can't go wrong with a group of char group of Koopa Koopa characters together with a certain theme just to actually with a pump action theme just to help kind of you know. I mean, you want you want to pump you want to pump up make Paper Mario go oh, pump up Paper Mario in a really good way. Start out strong with a pretty good opener. Then in the first chapter, you deal to actually deal with actually four Koopas who look like superheroes, but are actually just a villainous group actually based under Bowser's control. Yeah, that's a great way to start off the start of the game. So five stars for me, hands down. What about you, Mel? What was that, Mel? I didn't hear you. Well, so we said I gave you a four stars, but now I'm kind of thinking I want to pump it up to four five. Don't don't no don't copy me like what like give your own stance like think, yeah I'm, I'm four okay that's fair okay. I think I think the song's cool like like you said it ums me up all right next up is Tanta Koopa Tanta Koopa.
Thoughts? Yeah. Three star. Like, Honestly, I give it two. St I mean, uh, it's tough to say. I mean, it's not great, to be honest, for me. But. Like, yeah, it's. I mean, I mean, I I like chapter two of Pitman of sixty four. It's just this boss theme does not really give me. It's not a really great boss theme. Honestly, I kind of give it one stars. It's hard for me to kind of give any other praise to the boss theme itself. It's just not great. Could it be better? Yeah. Will it? No. So yeah. Next up is Toe Blubba. Okay, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's not the boss theme. <laughs> That's not the boss theme. In actuality, you would think that'd be the boss theme. No, this is the actual boss theme. Okay, yeah. Okay. My actual thought. It's two star. Yeah, one star for me. Honestly, oh, yeah. the problem for me is that this boss is not really... I like the, the, like the chase theme more. And honestly, I can kind of see why. I remember this one fan game. It was it had Mario, Luigi, and Bowser as three... The heroes in particular. I remember how the Dark Star, Wario, and Waluigi were the bad guys. So they had all this sort of stuff. I. Oh yeah, it was Mario. It was Mar the Seven Sages, something like that. It was a fan game called the Seven Sages or something like that. And that was Mario that kind of sort of rescued him. It had Johnny from like Super Mario RPG as one of the bosses and like one of the sages in particular. In that one of the, one of the boss scenes for one of the battles actually was in fact the Tubba Chase theme. Now, you have to figure why they chose the Tubba Chase theme as a boss theme over actual Tubba Blubba Tubba Blubba's actual boss theme. Then you kind of can understand why. Yeah. Tubba Tubba Blubba's actual boss theme is kind of shit. And no. mind you, chapter th mind you, chapter three actually is a really good chapter. You know, it's a really good chapter. Probably one of the really good ghost themed chapters in the Paper Mario game. I do, yeah, I do like, I do like the chapter. Like, it's just that Tubba Blubba, like the song. The song on it, yeah. just, just like just like Tentacoopa, where both chapters are pretty good. It gets weighed down heavily by the boss themes itself. Next up is, I believe, General Guy. I haven't beaten yet.
Thoughts? Yeah, I'm coming at three star. I do like the song. Like, I do like it. Yeah, it's three stars. I mean, for the three stars, it's definitely above mini mini boss. But the Goomba King honestly still at least reigns supreme in terms of three star the themes. But yeah, it's D. De- I mean, it's a good theme. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it is good. Like I didn't like, I didn't like the theme. I mean, to like, be honest, it's, it's, it was it was the first Paper Mario sixty four boss I was able to listen to that I had no idea. Because like, well, not really had no idea though. It was just that when I first played sixty four, or if you recall, I really struggled with the game. I was I was bad. So like, I could never even get past the fourth chapter because I actually got lost like an idiot. So. Oh, oh. Yeah. Don't feel bad, Gold. When I first played that level, I also got lost. Well, my reason for getting lost, though, was mainly that... Oh, I was also really young, so... Uh, no excuses there. So, yeah, no excuses. I was just really, really a dumb kid. So, but, yeah. me, I was also young. Next up is, in fact, Lava Prana. There's actually two different phases of Lava Prana. Phase 1 which has the one with no flames, and Phase 2 is one with flames. So... Honestly, two stars, but it's above fake oh, Bowser. I did, I, I did same as well, actually. Okay, like, what are your, what are your, what are your thoughts on this theme, though? I mean, it's what? like, uh, like, to be honest, like, I don't think it's a good theme. No, okay, that's fair. Not to say. Now, there's two different versions actually of Go Mario Go, which is actually the second phase. We're going to listen to, to B, so that's the more likely version we're going to get. But you can listen to version A here, so we'll listen to this one version. Thoughts? 
Yes, yes. Eh, yeah, it's not a good team. Still two stars for you? Yeah. But is it, is it better than the first version or the second version? Oh, is it better than the first phase okay. or the second phase? Okay, I'm going to say it's slightly better than the second phase. Just slightly. Honestly? Hmm. It's better than the first phase for me. Yet, I can't really vibe with it as much, because, like, I know for a fact the potential the boss team had in particular, and who knows, maybe if the game 64 had been remade, all these boss teams would be made even better. Even Tentacoopa and, Ma or, you know who, and Tubba Blubba would have been way better, but yet, now we got TTYD remake, so, sad to say, we'll never get to hear Koopa Bros in HD. Yep. So next up is actually is actually Huff and Puff. Okay. All right, your thoughts? Yep. Uh, it's getting... Okay, I'm giving this one one star. One star? I don't know. I don't feel like any... I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't feel anything with it, like... You don't... You don't feel anything with that theme? I'm actually kind of surprised. Why? Well, honestly, for me, like, this theme... Is really good. From how chapter six works, and at least in my opinion, its, or its early beginning is not that great. But yet, when you look at the theme overall, it's really catchy for me. It's really catchy. So, honestly, for me. It's another five star. Now, the question is, do I put it below or above Kubros? Honestly, Kubros are still reign supreme. Kubros reign supreme. Okay, there's no way it's gonna really pass it. The other theme. Okay, Junior Troopa. Is, I mean, Kubros are still number one. So next up is Crystal King. Crystal King. So freeze. <laughs>
Okay, I'll get I'll get my rating, and you let me know your thoughts and your rating. What would you give it? My thoughts, five stars. Damn right. Yeah, because it did it. gets me pumped up actually. For it's the seventh chapter for a Paper Mario game, and also it's the first level ever like ice boss theme. Honestly, I don't think really any of the ice bosses. I can't say sure any of them, but it's the first ice boss theme. For a Paper Mario game, and it's it hits hard. Like it's really good. Think about it. Do you remember the really old Mario sixty four like fan made series, if I remember correctly, where it was like the Wrath of the Ice Monster, right. Ice King, or Wrath of the Lava Monster, or something like that, and he had like. Mario, who's te- who teamed up with like various quote unquote legendary Pokemon, like it's a very old series. I remember Mario sixty four. I forget who it was who made them, but it's very old. I remember distinctively that the Crystal King was used actually as the focal, as like the focus of, in fact, the big bad, like the ice monster, I, 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 ice being. I forget. I forget what it's called. I forget what it's called, though. Like, honestly. I forget what it's called, though. Um, I think it's Wrath of the Lava Monster. If you look it up on YouTube. Uh, Wrath of the Lava Monster. Or sh- it's an SM64. It was SM64 sort of thing. Okay. Uh, Mario before me. Uh, let's see. Probably, it probably doesn't list la- last anymore. Yeah, yeah I, can't, I can't find it actually. Yeah, can't find it. Well, Lava God, I think, maybe. Wow. Yeah, okay, yeah! Here we go, I found it. Wrath of the Lava God. Mario 64 bloopers, mashed avocado. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, it was him. So long ago. Like, so old. Wrath of the Lava God, and then very old. But there was also someone else who did so like old type of thing. I think there was also Wrath of the Ice God as well. But it was just so it was just so f- random. I would say like it was so old. It also had a lot of like characters. It was like. They really, like, the animation quality of it was not, it's quite a decent views, though, but it's not amazing. But I just remember this from so long ago. So long ago. It is crazy. How do you think about it? 13 years ago. And I believe the Ice God, in fact, I mean, they've they've had references to Pokemon as well, so like they did that as well, and I believe, like, if I'm correct, and I'm gonna just mute, make sure I'm muted. The video is muted though, so it's not playing audio. Okay. But it's so old. I re- I remember this. It's so funny how I remember this. It's not going to load for me at the moment. I th- I don't know for sure. Yeah. It is. Yeah, because the Ice God was used, used the Crystal King sprite. You know? And they, was, cause they, they, was, they had like a, they had like a quote unquote Pokemon battle. But it's just. It's funny how they did it. You know? I don't know. It's just. 
one of those funny things I just remembered distinctively. But the boss team, uh, otherwise the boss team on its own, it's really good. You probably wouldn't be able to see it though, sadly, at all. But if you look, if you type, if you typed in Super Mario Wrath of the Lava God, you can actually probably find playlists of it. Thirteen years ago, on YouTube, very old series. I do recommend checking it out if you ever have a time to do so. But I found it. Yeah. But next up, let's go. Let's go. Let's go actually with the master. The master. I can find the master first. <laughs> oh, nothing. Master Battle, here I got found it. Thoughts? Playing that I like. Three stars, like, it's good. Just good. Two stars for me. I don't care for the master. You know? I believe actually yeah. there's another version of it where the music gets much better. It doesn't show it on there. No, it's not. No, it's different. No, it's a different theme. It's. I would say it's probably a lesser version of the. One boss theme from. Oh no, it's 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 just a lesser boss. It's not that great of a boss theme, I would say. It could do better, but honestly, it's just it's not really great. Next up, we have the first Bowser theme. So we have Bowser's Rage, I believe. What about Angry wow. Bowser? We have Angry Bowser, which is basically Bowser's theme. So. Oh, Here we go. Your thoughts? I'll put it at three stars myself. I'm putting put it at three stars. Initially, I put it at two stars, but after a while, honestly, it's it's also counts as also as Bowser's own battle, Bowser's own theme, and honestly, it works if you really think about it. Bowser wants to boss him actually makes him kind of seem intimidating. And this thing actually does seem intimidating. And I actually really like it. It's not great, but... Yeah, right. 
it's pretty good. Yeah. Next up, it's pretty good. Bowser's Shocked by the Lightning. Oh, yeah. All right, your thoughts? My thoughts, four star. Three stars. It's yeah. okay. Why, why? Why would you give it four stars? I don't know. I think it was. I don't know. The beginning made it sound. I think it was like. I think at the beginning. Yeah, the way because if you recall in the fight, and you remember since my I've actually live streamed five yeah, or six Paper like Mario games. Know. If you remember, well, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll link all the playlists of all the different series that I've done here in the description below. Even my joke color no. splash one, which didn't really last that long, but this is actually yeah. separate. This is actually helped make sure that I have something for all six Paper Mario games, at least before the T2ID remake comes out. You know, will be outdated, yeah, but you know what? We'll, we'll deal with that, the T2ID boss themes when they arrive in any yeah. new ones that they add but the way the boss theme actually works though is that he literally just gets larger by the lightning that strikes him you know it's like mario kart yeah. only in reverse instead of lightning shrinking him yeah. lightning grows him so bowser's cheating yeah he's cheating so yeah joking wise it's Really solid though, especially actually when you get to the point when you know you actually see if there's no hope to winning because Bowser actually destroys the immunity that you have to said to his own to the your own basically his star star beam ability, right? Yeah. yeah. Now for the last Paper Mario boss theme, six four boss theme. Alright, thoughts? I put in three star. Honestly? Same, but it's actually above, it's above the other version theme. Otherwise, <laughs> Me too. still three stars. But, yeah. Now, some of do is a little bit different, though. Right now, so you have 16 different boss themes. 64, right? Yeah. Now, why don't you go ahead and basically count out how many stars you have in total, okay. Okay. Uh, for me, I actually five. have for me I have forty seven boss themes, forty seven stars in total, which gives me actually a rating of, shockingly enough, 
way lower than I thought it would be. Like, oh no, wait, no, it was higher. Never mind, it's higher. I was looking at TTYD for a second. Shit. Um. So, Paper Mario 64, my average boss theme rating for this game is actually a 2 point... Was initially was a 2.875 out of 5. So the boss theme actually went up quite a bit, which actually increases up from a 2.8 to a 2.9375. To put it simply, 64... 64's average is technically three stars. Two, two stars, but it's we rounded up three stars, and that is 64's rating. So overall, if five stars was S, four was A, three was B, two C, one D, you know, I would say basically 64 overall has a solid B. B roster of boss teams. So, how many points do you have? Uh, let's see here. Okay, hold on. Okay, okay. Five, one, four, two. Wait, uh, uh, right, uh, right now, Mel. Here, quick, quick. Mel. How many? How many A? How many five stars do you have? Uh, only one. Okay. How many four stars do you have? Two. How many three stars do you have? Seven. Seven. How many two stars do you have? Uh, six. How many one stars do you have? Uh, zero. Zero one stars? Yep. So, you have, so your average score is 46. Now divide that by 16, you have a 2.875. That's your average. That's my average? For a 64. Now, we'll get to TTYD. We'll only count those themes, which means TTYD only has, six, only has in fact, 13 boss themes. The original. Yes, the original. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll st except, I believe, actually, no. Does not, they do not count the second phase. You can technically count the second phase of... Shadow Queen's boss theme, but in this list, it doesn't actually count it. I mean, did I count it? Did I really count it? No, I didn't, I didn't really count it. However, if you want to kind of count it, we can technically count it, you know? So, same, same also with or the origami. I mean, you could technically count it, though, I would say. So, it's hard to say too much. So, I will kind of do one of those. Do you want to recount that? Uh, Wait, well, you want me to recount my... No. no, 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 no. Okay. Otherwise, I would just say, since those two teams actually, those two teams can technically count as a boss team of their own. So, do we add them to the list? Maybe. Uh, I mean, we don't have to add them a little bit. Uh, I, don't... I mean, technically, it makes it more accurate to the boss teams as well, and other types of things. But are they really great themes in general? I mean, who knows? Technically, you could technically also not really count like 64, 64's regular Bowser theme. You know? I mean, I will add them for me to make it kind of sort of count. But we won't really, they don't really matter all that much. So if you, we'll, we'll count them in this case. Right, and I'll send you the pictures so you can actually add them to your list yourself. 
because honestly, it'd be okay. make it easier for you. All you gotta do is just go into the tier list and click on add the add the pictures and stuff. If there's any other boss names that I really have missed, we'll find out type of thing. But yeah. Otherwise, I would say relatively decent overall. So let's begin TTYD now. Now TTYD, yeah. I believe 64 actually all done. I will close out 64 list. TTYD is yeah. next. So TTYD, we have I believe event battle, which is probably the first battle in particular, which is going to be the blooper. This is based on the mini boss theme we hear overall. Oh, yeah. I believe event battle is basically oh, yeah. the thing. Okay, my thoughts. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I should actually. Actually, is actually the boss theme though. Um, let me just go and check first. Yeah, no, double double check this for sure. Oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah. It does. It is the ball theme, so it does count. Okay, here we go. We're good. So yeah, overall, two stars for me. Uh, I put a three star. Okay. Why? Yeah. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. So, I don't know. It's just well, it, okay. It's, it's in the bad territory that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For me. Yeah. But... The problem I have with this theme though is that. It doesn't give you much. Like think of think of how sixty four's prologue started off, right? You start off with a really good opening, motivation to actually defeat Bowser, and then you're halted by one of Bowser's own elite minions, right at the very end. And he, it's a big, it's just a Goomba with a crown, just some unknown enemy. You have no idea who he is. You beat him, and boom. Then you're given. Then you're given your purpose and your role, and you need to do. Let's get Star Spirit. Simple as that. Great starting thing. TTYD, on the other hand, you're told about the map, told about the treasure, you get the whole thing, gets it down to the door, you leave, go to the next area, boom, go back and forth, up and down to the. Uh, I mean, people complain for a term of the backtracking type of thing, and then we're not going to talk about the backtracking part of TTYD because that's an entirely other can of warrants I'm not going to discuss. But Yeah, I'd rather not talk about it. Overall, in terms of the bosses you fight in this chap, in that sort of chapter, if you want to put it in quotation marks, it's kind of a letdown, I would say. You know, like you're battling against a big blooper and just a regular old blooper. I mean. For a game that people love to praise about the original characters and stuff like this, you get just a regular old big blooper as a boss. And it's like, what the fuck? Okay? Like, even, yeah, sure, 64 also had its own quote-unquote blooper bosses, but those bosses didn't really matter. They were just optional side bosses you could fight that lived in the underground area and each one was just like slightly stronger than the next this one would it do 
Oh, it ends up on top of the screen and you can't actually fight it until you defeat the tentacles. Which is really easy, because you get yourself a fire flower and just burn the tentacles, knock it down instantly, and then just battle and head bonk or bonk it to victory. It's an easy fight. Nothing to really worry about. Now, the blooper itself actually felt like, I don't know, some sort of, you know... No. If, 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 they, if they acted more like, say, a rogue from, like... So, like, since rogue port's supposed to be a place full of, like gangs and stuff well what, what if this blooper well you know was a more was more gang like you know maybe, maybe you're walking into its turf and it's like get out of my turf basically you know you scrangy plumber right yeah. give there's no reason i mean i could give it a one star if i want to but the thing itself is not awful the best is that's just the problem it's just the blooper itself it's most disappointing mini boss theme, I would say. Most disappointing mini boss theme. So next up, we have, I believe, uh, Hooktail Battle, the Dragon oh Boss. There, this boss fight is let's play it three times. Yeah, it was fine, like. Your thoughts? Two stars for me, honestly. I do not like this boss theme. I do not like it. I have... One of the reasons why I really don't actually care for TTYD's, like, first chapter is, in fact, this boss theme in particular. And the fact that let's do this three times... Let's do this three times is kind of more insulting. Like... You would listen to this theme three times. First time in the first chapter, then on the eighth chapter as a repeat, and then later on again in chapter in in the in the, in the pit. Which you would think they'd make it better, but they don't. This theme is still really bad. Well. But yeah, what do you think of this thing? Yeah, it's like, okay, yeah, like, I don't like it as well, like, it's bland. It's like, it's just bland for me. It's not really exciting of a theme, in my opinion. So yeah, kind of like same with yours, so yeah, it's not that exciting. Yeah. So yeah, two stars. Next up, I believe actually is the Shadow Sirens.
What are your thoughts? Yeah. Yeah, two stars. Two stars? Yeah. Why? Yeah. I don't know. I don't like... I just don't like the theme. You don't like the theme? Just, I don't know. Just... I don't know what's about I don't like it. Just, ugh, like... Not that very exciting of a theme, in my opinion. Hmm. What's your thoughts? Honestly... I'm gonna give it three stars. Initially, I gave it four stars, though, but I'm giving it three stars because, to be completely honest, is it great? No. But they did... I mean, they semi did a good job in its own right, but it's, oddly enough, if you really think about it, compared to how it was before, all right, Compare it to how the game, how in chapter two, where you first hear this theme, right? If you're in chapter two, which is probably the worst chapters in TTYD, so it's probably the only silver lining of this chapter. Oh no! Okay, I agree that chapter two is right. Next up is next up is next up is Magnus von Grapple. Now, oddly enough, I give this theme three stars. Question is, do I still have that same theme now? Oh, I just recently caught him, actually. Your thoughts? Yeah, four star. Four star. My, my thought. My thought is, it sounds so, it, it sounds a really like a really exciting theme. Interesting. What'd you rate it? Initially, I rated it three stars. However, Do I still share the same sentimental feeling of this theme compared to how I did initially from years prior? Did you hate the theme back then? I was not. Tent I mean, Macho. Or no. Uh, Magnus Von Grapple for me. I didn't care for the theme. It was probably one of the weaker themes of TTYD. But. If I have to really give it a rating, if I'm going to be completely honest, I'm going to give it a fair rating of probably three stars. But that's only kind of because, <laughs> if I'm going to be completely honest, it's not great. Three stars is probably the most likely ranking for it but otherwise could it have been better yeah will it no it's definitely not peak paper mario i would say so three stars now Honestly, I think it's probably one of the lower three-star ones. Yeah. But, I kind of understand a little bit more the theme after re-listening to it again. But my main issue for me is that, I believe you listen to hear this theme multiple times. I don't know how many times you hear this theme.
He's fought. He's fought four times. Four four times. <laughs> Let me just find a video of this. So, all bosses no damage. I don't want that. You know what? Fine. This will be good. Ignoring this order that we have a carry game. I'm just gonna go just check first. I believe technically. Nope. We get the tutorial battle theme for the first fight. Yeah, blooper. Magnus Von Grapple. Magnus Von Grapple and Magnus Von Grapple 2. Question is, does Lord Crump and, Lord Crump and X2 X knots? Huh. Yeah, no, you do listen to this. At least you listen to his name at least three times, so therefore, and although, and honestly, I don't care for his mecha fights, I do like the fights, I like the fight in chapter five, I think it's actually his best battle. So, three stars for me overall, and it's only based around that. Next up, we have I believe it's Rock Hawk, Not Rock Hawk, the Rock. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, I went too, went too far a little bit, but yeah. What are thoughts on this theme? I agree. Yeah. For me, I wish this was the chapter boss for chapter three. Because that, because honestly, if they ended chapter three off the way they did, with the, 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 the crystal star being given to you as a reward, by Rock, after being Rock Hawk, Chapter 3 would have been perfection. Like, I know they had the whole twist of the fighters going missing and all, but just the battle with Rock Hawk itself is just perfection. How in the world does this theme go so hard in such a way that I don't know, like, I don't get it. Like, it was great. And then we get to this next theme, and you're wondering, what the fuck did they do wrong to give us this theme? Like, what the fuck is wrong with them? Yeah, let's...
What the fuck? What am I? What? Yeah, that's only one star. I'm like, what the fuck was that? Yeah, one star for me as well. <laughs> what? You can un even you can understand it. you can understand my frustration. And this honestly, yeah. the sad part about it is this is actually the third chapter of the quote unquote, unquote the best Paper Mario game of the Paper Mario fan base. The best Paper Mario game. And already you have chapter one, which for me is not great, because it ends with a great boss theme. Chapter 2, which has some hit or miss boss themes. And chapter 3, which has one really good boss theme. And you come up with this crap? You can understand why, honestly, I'm not fond of TTYD all that much. Like, this yeah. theme. And <laughs> worst part about it, though, is that this is actually the only other boss theme that actually features the clubbas. This is actually the last boss theme of a clubba enemy. And both of them miss hard. How? Like, it's sad. I feel bad for the club of like enemies, and honestly, next Paper Mario that comes out, they have really, really low standards. So if there's ever been a new Paper Mario game, and we get another quote unquote club of, you know, theme, club of boss fight, honestly, that theme has to be, like, really, really good for it to actually stand out. Or else, it is going to honestly get a third one star in a row. And that is just horrible. I feel bad for the clubbas. I feel bad. But, otherwise, yeah. next up is Duplass. <laughs> This boss has to be the worst one in Mario Party history. No, Mario. Paper Mario history. What do you what do you think? Five stars. Agreed. Now the question is, why would you give it five stars? I'm gonna be honest. What what do you what do you think so, slick? See what I did there? Yeah, I got yeah, I got crazy. I don't, I don't know, like what's it good about it? I think it's like bopping. Like good bop. Yeah, it's really solid. I don't know how they they did it, but yeah, chapter four is can easily easily is mixed reception. Due to actually to a lot of the backtracking that it has going back and forth, you would kinda of think, Oh no, this chapter's gonna have a really awful boss theme. And after honestly, after like a load you've seen so far for TTYD and how much its bosses have been so far, you can kind of get that sort of feeling. Yet you get you go instantly get hit hard with dupless of all things. Dupless hits hard and you're like, whoa. Like, what the heck? Dupless throws in and out of the rooms. Dupless honestly goes right next to Koopa Bros. In terms of oh no, yeah no, uh, not like Chris King better than Duplis, but it hits hard. It's really good. Okay. Yeah. Next up, Cortez.
I have my opinions, but what were your thoughts? Uh, three star. Three star. Okay. Why? Uh, it's like it's a, okay. It's good, but uh... it's good, but it's not great. Honestly, it's five stars yeah. for me. I really actually like the theme because it's actually really. I mean, it's catchy in its own right. Like. I might put it below Dupless, but it's still, or I might put it below Dupless and Rockhawk, but it's still really good. Like, Chapter 5, honestly for me, is one of the better chapters of TTYD. Like, Chapters 3 through 6, that is peak TTYD. If you want to play TTYD right, just skip the first two chapters and go right to Chapter 3. You get the best partners in those, best partners in Chapters 3 through 6. Those being up, those being basically Vivian, Yoshi, Yoshi Kid, Bobbery, the rest of the part, and, and you probably even miss Mouse technically. Like chapter five, honestly, is peak TTYD. You want to you want to have a good chapter of TTYD? Pretty much, that's basic. I would say. Otherwise, not much else I can really kind of give it. You know. Yeah. But yeah, so next up is going to be ooh a fun one. Well, Say hello to where the fuck is it? Oh, I found the smorg. What are your thoughts? Yeah, three star. Three star. All right. Why? Like, okay, it's good. Okay, like, it's in the good. Okay, it's in the bad, dead, good territory yet again. But like, come on, my opinion just. I think it's just. It's the last. Like, for me, it's probably it's the last of the good boss names of TTYD. Not really the last, but like TTYD. Or at least last of the good chapters of TGYD in terms of boss themes. Like, chap like for me, I actually like the smork fight, so I give it five stars. That's all I would say. Otherwise, it's really good. I mean, to be honest, giving it that praise is five stars is really good. I don't think I have really any other complaints with it. So, what's next in terms of boss themes? I believe we have, we have Bowser, Shadow Queen's two phases, and then we have Grotus, which. Yeah, I believe we, next is, I believe, Grotus? Yeah. Oh boy. Wait, no, that's not it. Now, to 
understand this is actually kind of re the Grotus boss theme in particular is actually why I did not actually like I a teacher YD actually got a lot of the criticism I, I gave it. And the fact and this is the fact that literally Grotus' battle is based on the whole two phase sort of part of the thing. Is that how you fight Grotus and in fact it is really not that great. Just to kind of show off a little bit, you fight Grotus, boom, you kick Grotus' butt, and then all of a sudden, Bowser comes crashing down immediately. This is for a spoiler, but well, sorry, Mel, it's not a spoiler. But then you immediately fight Bowser, boom. Now, here's the deal. Let's say you do not level up during this fight. Guess what? You have to deal as you with being weakened for the second fight. Therefore, you have to kind of figure out in particular if you actually can make sure you're leveled up all the way before you before you fight. So in actuality, it'd be a good idea to make sure you level make sure you get yourself close to leveling up before you fight Grotus, so then you can instant level up and when you fight Bowser at full strength. Yet, in your first time you're playing this game, you have no idea this fight will even happen. This will even happen. It's completely one of those, oh, what the heck, type of things. So, added that you're fighting two boss fights back to back, normally not that great, because it can be a bit of an issue in its own, right? But, it's a massive problem. And I do not like it, which is probably why it's one of the things I really do not care for. Is like multiple is multiple boss fights back to back with really no chances of like sort of a checkpoint. Like honestly, if the remake somehow went up and gave you like sort of a quick, one of those like quick save options where like you would instantly be able to save or before you fight a chance to fight Bowser, you got a chance to go back either and save and heal before you actually could fight Bowser. I doubt they would do that sort of thing. If they did that, holy crap, that'd be a massive improvement. That'd be a massive improvement. If you were given a brief option... Uh, what? If you were given a brief option to just... Maybe quickly go back, either save, heal, either get him, eat a mushroom if you needed to, and stuff like that. Well, you'd be set up. It'd be really easy and good. I don't know what they did before. And who knows, Rick is entirely blind. I'll probably just watch an LP of the game, you know, like before. But it's oh, we weird. What was that? What'd you say, Mel? Alright. Yeah, just take we'll just take a little intermission. Okay. So okay. here so here here is Grotus. Grotus, okay. Sorry, wrong theme. Okay.
Thoughts? Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't hear anything actually. You did not hear anything at all. Were you even on the Discord thing? Okay, I think it was frozen. Okay, the screen was. I think the screen was frozen. Oh. Shit. Yeah, so, okay, try it. Okay, we're trying. Okay, try that again. Okay. Can you hear it? Okay, now I can hear it. Thoughts? What are your thoughts? I said one, my thoughts are one star. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's not, for the not big, for, for the main antagonist of TTYD, yeah. you really can see why I do not like Grotus and actually why TTYD for me. Like, okay. At least Macho Grubba, sure, comes from a solid place in the battle, and at least as a good mem is, is memorable enough. Like Macho Grubba is memorable. Even Tala Blow and Tentacupa, they're memorable in their own right. Grotus. What makes this, makes Grotus' theme even worse is the fact that I actually have to listen to this theme every single time you lose to the second fight that fights right after. And for me, that happened constantly. When I first played TTYD, this is prior to me actually streaming this game, I had awful, like, I was not great at the game, you know. I didn't really do many battles. I tried to avoid battles and stuff because, you know, hey, you know, I never did the pit. And yet, battling Grotus and then fighting ba and having to fight Bowser and have to actually literally if you want to actually beat Grotus and beat Bowser and Cammy at the same time or just right you have to actually almost like conserve your FP your FP basically just to beat both because of how the fight wins which made Grotus's fight last longer because Bowser and Cammy were a tough fight on their own yeah yeah, when, yeah, when, I, yeah, when I streamed the series, though, I'd already beaten, basically, the Pip Hunter Trials before I actually fought the final chapter. And, yeah, Grotus, Bowser, and Cammy, those fights with that special ba badge that I gave him, that I gave Mario, honestly made the fight way easier. But yet, Grotus, for me, gets his one v feeling. And especially, when the, last, when the first time I almost beat the final boss of TTYD... And my game crashed, and I oh not my game, my game got corrupted, and I lost my save. And then, to add insult to injury, I found another save that was right before that was right. And also, an eight star, all crystal stars obtained. Final area. I was thinking, yeah, okay. Do I reach final boss with another save file? Is it perfectly fine? You know, to be really good. No. Guess what fight I was stuck on right there? Yeah, I'm gonna guess. Yeah, make, give your guess. Ugh. Wow. Here's a hint. What? We're talking about it right now. Oh, you were okay. You were stuck on the Grotus fight. On the on the other save file that I managed to find, that was like at the end of the game as well, and that was when I was like, you know what, I'm fucking done, I quit, and I gave up and I gave up playing the game. I actually had borrowed the game from a friend, from a, someone I knew from my scouting days, 
And I just gave up. I gave the game right back to him. Like, and, and later, I mean, I, 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 I ended up buying the game later on. So now I have a copy of TTYD, which is why I was able to kind of stream it on official hardware. But, yeah. Holy crap. It was bad, which is why one, it was one star for me. Now, part part of part actually makes it up a little bit is the Bowser battle. Okay, thoughts? Um, yeah, like, it's... Four stars. What? How many stars? Yeah, four stars. Like, it's a good Bowser one. Too. You, Mine. like, five stars for me. Like, that's the one good thing. It's like, besides Grotus as being big low, you get the Bowser theme, and it's like, boom! Pits hard, pump it... It pumps you up again. Like, it redeems itself from its really bad start. It's weird though. You really could do much better, but how does it go from a boss in like Grotus, which is an ass boss, to a fire boss? It's shocking. Yeah. Okay. Mm, let's see. So next um, up yeah. is in fact the Shadow Queen. Now there's three Shadow Queen phases, and you'll see, I'll put all three up. Directly, because technically all three are back to back. So here we go. Here is actually phase one of the Shadow Queen. First up is Shadow Peach. Yep. Like, eh, three stars. Three stars for me as well. It's in the middle. But like honestly, I have to give it I have to give TTYD credit though. Like, it does do a really good final boss theme. At least for the first phase. You know? And I have to give it I mean I'm giving it credit for something I'm not I wouldn't really give much credit for. But it's solid in its own right. Honestly, I could probably give it a four star if I wanted to, but I'm probably gonna stick with three stars because it's pretty good in its own right. So yeah, three stars. Yeah. Now for a second phase.
Thoughts? Yeah. Oh. Uh, I think I have to put it in three stars. Three stars, well, two star for me. It's kind of not great for a final boss for the final boss second phase, but it makes sense. Not much of a boss team if you really think about it, but. Otherwise, it's decent, you know. Yeah. Not for, not for the final phase of Shadow Queen, the final battle. Well, my thought, it's two stars. Two stars? Okay, why? Uh, well, okay, for the final thing, you say it's kind of ass. My opinion. It's actually it's kind of ass. Honestly, after much thought, and this is just me, I think... The Shadow Queen's fight, overall, I don't give TTYD much credit for, I don't give enough credit for some of those things, but I feel like TTYD at least kind of shares one thing with Origami King, in that it has a pretty decent first phase and third phase theme, but second phase has always been for the final boss, being the one thing that's kind of lacking, at least in my initial reviewing of it. However, I have to kind of give it actually four stars. As much as I would hate to kind of give the theme four stars, or at least not really quote unquote give it a quote unquote five stars, because that's what most TTY theme things would all be. They'd all be kind of be five stars. I have to kind of give it its own level of praise, you know. So overall, I would say four stars for it because it's really solid, which means in particular. My TGYD rating is in fact a 2.3.2857. So literally a B. So Mel, how many five stars do you have? Uh, I mean, how many five stars for TGYD? Uh, there should be four. There should be fourteen in total. Okay, uh, two. So two five stars. How many four stars? Uh, two. Okay. How many three stars? Four. How many two stars? Three. How many one stars? Two. Huh. That's right. Two, four, eight, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Wait a minute. You're missing one. But they may have not gotten done yet. This would be fourteen. Which, 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 theme, which theme did you not do? Not Wait, count. Exactly? Oh, that one I couldn't find. Oh, which, one, which one was it? I think it was the second phase of Shadow Queen. Remember, I, remember, remember, I gave you the pictures. 
You had him on there. Did you had him on there? Hold on. Just, go, just, just, just scroll down to the choose, choose files thing and add him on there. Oh, fuck. I forgot to add him on there. God. Uh, do, do, it right, do it right now, and then put your rating on where you put the second phase. Okay? Okay. Come on, just let me add it. Hold on. You're back? I got him at it. I got him at it. You're back? Yeah, I had to. I delete so I can add the pictures in there. Yeah. Because apparently while I was in VC, it didn't let me do it. Hmm. So I delete, add the pictures on. And so yeah, I added them, I added them on. I put in the one, I put that one in. Two star. Two star. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Why? Why? I just I think I just don't like most of the shadow points themes. So you put it. So you put it in two stars, right? Yeah, I put it in two stars. So your average is actually slightly lower than mine. Two two point eight five seven one. We're not going any farther past four decimal points, just to make it fair, because it's a bunch of big numbers. So, okay, yeah, that's fair. So, not too bad, I would say. I mean, not too bad. I mean, could be better. Yeah. 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 Like some of the themes for TTYD, yeah. Uh, yes. Mm. I just hope I just hope the remakes like make like makes them better, especially those two ones. You know the ones in one star. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully the remake makes those scenes better. I definitely can see that sort of thing as well, but I would say TTYD. It's not 10 out of 10 great quality in its own right, but at least it does enough of what it could do in its own right. So I will give it some sort of credit in its own right. Not enough to like give it any sort of praise, right? Yeah. So I will give it somewhat credit. It's not enough to outright just give the game like a five star review, but you can give this game its own level of praise in its own right. But otherwise, I would say good in its own right. So, next yeah. up, that's it for TTYD. Next up is Super Mario. So, Super Mario yeah. has a bunch of different themes. The uh, very first one is. Oh, yes, the game some people hate. I'm just kidding, it's not that theme. I'm just kidding. You think that'd be a boss theme? You would think that'd be a boss theme? You would think it'd be a boss theme? I'm sorry, I had to do it a second time just for the joke. You know? Okay. I. 
In actuality, it's old chunks. But honestly, you have to admit. Count Black theme. Mount Black please dominates. So here we go. Oh chunks. Four stars for me. Oh. What'd you what'd you rate it? I I, I said I rated it five stars. Five stars? Wow, right off the bat? Nice. So I wonder why. Well it's a pretty good theme. Like it's a the, for the theme. for the first boss of Super Mario, and also this is one of the fights that actually does re reoccur a few times, because you do fight O Chunks at least three if not four times and it's still really good every single time it never misses like honestly oh chunks probably at least if they if they had done actually a special oh chunks rematch after you beat the base game with the sort of like where oh chunks battled you at his strongest and it was like sort of like a fun little like battle where he fought you maybe even like just like an optional boss fight with him it'd be great it would give the it would make the post game actually worthwhile but it's like Wow. Just wow. And this, mind you, when you really think about it, 64 and TTYD don't even begin with epic boss fights in their first chapters. They have really mid fights. Save for the Cooper Bros at the very end of the chapter, but this is a sort of quote unquote a mid boss fight, and it hits hard. How? Now we have Fractale. Thoughts? Yeah, four stars. Four stars. I give it three stars for me. Like, I, don't, I don't know. Like it's it's good. Like like, think, like I don't know. It's like it's weird. This honestly, what the first what the what TTYD's Dragon Boss theme should have been, like way better. Both are dragons in their own right, but yet Fractale. Hands down, even Fractal and even Racktail, hands down, way better. And Super Paper Mario is a platformer. Makes her gives Super Paper Mario the TTYD style of gameplay, where it's like all like classic combat and stuff. And nobody ever would talk about TTYD as much as they do, because TTYD was the last game that actually had the quote unquote classic version of the combat. You know, until everything changed. But yet, 
Fractail hits hard really good. I don't really have any sort of big complaints about it. It's not amazing, per se, but it's also not bad. You know, so it's, that's why I get three stars. So next up, I believe, is... Mimi. Ooh, Mimi. It's the first Mimi battle. There are two Mimi... There are two different Mimi battles. Two stars. Yeah, I can see. I can see your reasoning. Like, it's not that good of a theme. Yeah, I'll be honest, and this is just me. Of Count Black's minions, there's a boss themes. If we exclude, actually, I have to give. I have to kind of knock down. Now, technically, you can technically count Mr. L's actually first theme. And you battle it when you meet him as a boss theme, I think in its own right. I believe Mr. L uses actually the regular battle theme before he fights with his second phase theme, if I'm correct. But what I would say two stars for Mimi. If I went to let me go check Mr. L first. Um Okay. Oh crap. Yeah, use the use regular mini boss. Yeah, it doesn't the second phase just use the actual boss theme, but otherwise, we don't have to worry about the theme. But otherwise, I would say, in terms of rating, O Chunks and Dementio have two better boss themes, but Mimi's probably the only one I would say is the worst one. And this, and honestly, both her themes are really not that great. So next up, we have Bowser Battle. Ah. So Bowser makes his return again. How else does his team play? My thoughts, um, yeah, I, I put this fight, this theme in five star. Five star? Ooh, why? It's a good Bowser theme. I had, I'll be honest, I didn't care for this theme at first, okay? Initially, my older ranking thing, I gave it two stars. Alright. Mm -hmm. However, after listening to it, I recognize... 
You may recognize a little bit of the jingle, though. But... <sighs> it has some references to the older, some of the older Mario games. You know? Right? Oh, I think... I believe, it, I, believe it, I believe it does. I don't know. Um... Let me check this up first. Um, I think... I don't know. I can't say much of anything, but if someone wants to edge, go ahead and give me some sort of references and what the theme is based around, I'm going to give it three stars. You know? Okay. But I believe there are some references to certain themes that I'm, I can remember hearing, though. It's not the best, per se, but I recognize some of the themes. Next up is the mini-boss. A.K.A. Um, the big blooper, because... <laughs> Yeah, I'm put. Yeah, I'm going in three star. Three star. Yeah, I'm putting it two star for me. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's not that good of like a bot, mini boss theme. I mean, it's not really something I really kind of care for. You know, could be better, but. No, I mean, you don't hear it too many times, though, so there's not much to worry about. There's not really too many mini-bosses, and the last time, I think you honestly kind of hear it. You hear a variation of it, which, honestly, is actually far better than this version. Plus, I think the biggest thing that makes it more insulting, though, is the fact that actually the Shadow fight doesn't have its own theme, but just uses actually regular min this regular mini-boss theme, and that's just plain insulting, you know? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Next up, Dementio. Oh, of course, Dementio. It's showtime. <laughs> No, sorry, I got kind of into it. Um, yeah. 
four stars for me. I uh, mean, four stars as well. Also, for, I put four stars, not five star, only one reason only. He possessed Luigi. That's the reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we really think about it. Super Mario so far has hit pretty hard so far with two yeah. four stars. And at least two three stars for me. You know, and then only one two star. But yeah. So far Super Mario Mars has gone much better this time around compared to sixty four and TTYD. Where it had which had which TTYD had it only had started had a few hits after it caught a few misses, and T sixty four had some few good hits with some misses sprinkled in early on. This is chapter three. Next up we have is Francis. The one fight, where one one theme in particular, where technically you actually could fight Francis twice, if you actually choose wrong, and it was only during the whole mini phase of Count Black's Castle. Now, technically, fighting Francis could be something you could do for free experience points as well, or if you don't really want to fight anything, to get the free item in particular. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, Francis is getting two stars. Yeah, same for me. Now, by the way, there should, there, there should be 15 Super Hit Mario boss themes, so when we're done, we'll go over the thing, discussion type of stuff. Mm -hmm. Two stars for me as well. I don't know how it's like you got some really good boss themes early on. Sure, Mimi's a miss, but Francis honestly is just... Not great. Yeah. Oddly enough, SMG4, when they did the whole anime arc, made Francis a much more interesting and better character. Even if they didn't have much of a boss team in its own right, it was just way better. So weird. Yeah. I mean... Honestly, SMG4 made this character better. But to be honest, it makes sense, though, because he is basically the most geek-like character in the game. You know? Yeah. But, well, you wonder who's next? Who's next? Robot. Oh, yeah. I swear I want to sing the song. 
You. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's also five stars. It fa- Kill Bros is finally beaten out by this song. Like, honestly, I swear, I want to sing that song, the Man of the Internet song. I mean, so good. <laughs> How? Like, seriously? It's this fucking good. Like, it's. It's just so damn good. Like, you can even hear someone listen to this song for one hour. And yes, would you do it? Like, yeah. It's that fucking good. Well, honestly, it fucking deserves five stars. Like, it's yeah. peak. Yeah, totally. It's and the best now, theme so far right now. Like, the song is just so darn good. Like, I was thinking that song. In, I was, I was thinking that, that, that those exact lyrics in my head. I was just thinking it. And not to mention as well, we also have, as an added bonus, the ultimate show. Right? Yeah. And, and Champion Destruction. Like, great themes. So, yeah, five stars. I was thinking the thing, I was actually playing the lyrics in my head as well. I wouldn't blame you in particular if, honestly, honestly, this theme would deserve higher because lyrics. Yeah. But no, five stars. Okay, so next up is King Crocatius the Fourth. Yeah, two stars. Two stars? I'm giving it five stars. I really like this theme. It's really good. Like, I don't really think I have any sort of complaints with that theme at all. But it's really good. So why why, why don't you give it two stars? Just out of curiosity. I don't know. I just don't like... Yeah, like, I don't feel like it was... Doesn't really interest me. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Next up is Mimi. Again. Again. Second. Second boss. Yeah, this is going right in that 
right next to the first box. Like, yeah, I'm putting the same. She's getting three star. Same as the first one. It's for me. It's, it's still three stars as well. It's below general guy for me. Three stars, but it's a major improvement from the original, from the first fight. So it's definitely an improvement. So I would give it. Okay. Yeah. So next up is Robot Mach Two. Ooh, what if, it's, what if this one's are it's the other one? I have one thing to say mm. before you give your before you give your opinion. Thank yeah. God, man, of the internet did not make lyrics of this theme. He did the first one. Oh, okay. Well, now I have made my opinion. Yeah, three stars. It's three stars yeah, for me as well. But it's, it's not. It's honestly, not I hate to say this though. It's an odd sort of thing though. But it might be the lowest three star one we have. Like I have to say. I would give, is odd enough to say, but I think Magnus Von Grapple is actually better than Robot L. And you don't have to put TTYD in general. So yes, I am giving praise to Magnus Von Grapple. Alright. Okay. Next up is, next up is The Underchomp. The Underchomp. Yeah, I'm gonna put this at three stars. Three stars, it's low, but probably even lower than Magnus von Grapple, I would say. But I have to give it credit though, it's a, it's the only unique battle in the entirety of Super Mario, you know, being made in sort of the classic Undertale or no earthbound type battling style, which I remember that was one of the things they did, which is really kinda of cool. But it's a it it's, it has a much better version of the mini boss theme, you know. Yeah. So yes, bone chill.
Okay. Thoughts? Yeah. Yeah, this song's a three star. It's pretty mid. Yeah. But what's really kind of sad, though, when you think about it, is Super Paper Mario, is Paper Mario 64 gives us a banger of a theme for an ice boss. Right? A yeah. banger. Really good. Teacher Body does not have any sort of ice boss in particular. And I really feel like if TTYD had given us an ice boss, heck, just an ice boss in general, I bet you more credit would have been given, you know, for it, for me, personally. But, oh, yeah. I mean, even Origami King doesn't really technically have an ice boss theme. And even Color Splash as well, if you want to kind of be technical. So only really three Paper Mario games actually have an ice boss. You know? And if I have to be honest, it does not give any much good signs when the best boss theme from when when that when that boss theme in particular does not hit as hard as it does, right? Like, how do you give that sort of thing? In its own right. Like how do you do that? And not expect. Like. I mean. It's just three stars overall. I can't say much else. So next up. Is in fact. The final boss. Ah. Count Blair. Yeah. Not done yet. Yeah. Yeah. Five stars. I don't think really there's anything else really to complain about for Super Paper Mario for Count Black. Like, boom! Five stars, really good. Right? What would you think? Uh, I'd play four stars. Four stars? Okay. Why? Yep. Well, like, like, it's a good theme. Like, don't, don't get wrong. Like, it, it is a good thing. Like, but I'm just, like, there's a thing. Like, like, a little bit made, it's just a little bit made. No, mid is no. Five stars is like excellence. Four stars is great. Three stars is average. Two stars is mid, and one stars is total crap. Yeah, like okay, it's just four stars because the song is just great. Yeah, just to let you know, that's kind of the rating. Like yeah, my and, and, and just and just figure. So you're basically giving it an A rank, right? Yeah, I'm just basically giving this song an A rank. All right. Now and it is time. Now.
up and down on this merry-go-round. <laughs> Here we go, it's the ultimate show. <laughs> we perform, we rewrite. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if I need to mention anything else, <laughs> I need to say no. anything else at all. No. <laughs> I mean, it says it for itself. Five stars, generally speaking. I don't think any other theme would ever do anything less than perfection. It's fucking peak. Which means my average for Super Paper Mario is actually the highest for any Paper Mario game. A three point four six six seven. It's the current high. It's the current yeah. highest. Let's see. Now, see. next up, Mel, Mel, Mel. Well, before you do anything else, left for you have fifteen different themes. So, how many five stars do you have? Uh, let's see here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Stars. Four five stars. Okay. How many four stars do you have? Okay, let's see here. Three. Hmm. How many three stars? Let's see here. Um, there. Hold on, let me. Hold on, let me read. Four, five, six, six. Six three stars? Yep. Wow. And how many two stars? Uh, yeah, it's two. Hmm. And how many one stars? Yeah, zero. 3.6. So you actually have a better average than me. Even though I have some quite a few five stars, though, you actually have a better average than me. So far, in terms of Paper Mario games, 60, for 64, I have the better average than you, and same goes with the T2YD. Super Paper Mario is slightly different. You have a better average than me. Interest, in, interesting. <laughs> Pretty interesting. Now we have Sticker Star. First off is the Mini Boss. That, that, that's Albert that represented by the Buzzy Beetle. That's the mini, that'll be represented by the Mini Boss, so Buzzy Beetle, okay? Damn it! Do that thing where, where the screen froze again. What do you mean it froze again? Like the screen? Okay. The, oh. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Let me. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Got it. Let me find the mini boss theme though. Yep. Yeah. But yep, yeah, we're on your favorite Paper Mario game. No, it's not, it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite, Mel. No, I like I like Stick Star. It's not my favorite. I, you're getting it wrong. Like, don't say that. Like, don't. So here's the you, event. You so mini boss is the event. Mini boss is basically the event battle. Okay. Okay. Ooh. 
Yeah. Yeah, nerd. Three stars for me. Yeah, wait. Like, the game like, okay, it's the, be it's the beginning part of the game. No, 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 not, no, not the beginning part. It's just a mini boss. It's just a regular mini boss. Okay. That's all it is. Just a mini boss. You, you, you hear this theme with the Buzzy Beetle in the chapter in World One, the big bug in chapter the the um Arya Dose or the you know the bug the scuttle bug in chapter three, the World Three, the big cheap cheap. Heck, even the big blooper from the big boo from the one in Nick Mansion. It's just a, it's just a mini boss theme. Otherwise, it's decent. Like in terms of mini boss themes, in terms of like a mini boss, it's definitely one of the better ones. You know, hmm. especially when mm -hmm. you go from stuff like Super Paper Mario from the first three games. Like mini boss themes for Paper Mario games aren't really supposed to be the best themes. They're supposed to be decent enough to actually at least come by because really the big impact is basically the big chapter bosses. You know? But I would say it's decent. So three stars. So next up is Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr. on a, as a whole has way better boss themes. Even his Galaxy 1 and 2 boss themes, which is just his or his own level theme, like Galaxy 1, Galaxy 2, New Super Mario Bros. New Super Mario Bros. DS, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, Mario Wonder, even. For his first appearance in the Paper Mario game, he really misses it with his boss theme. Yeah. It's sad to say the very least, but I believe it has some references to. No, there's no references. Never mind. Take it back. But it's just a miss. Next up, Mega Sparkle Goomba. Ah.
three stars. And I mean, just like both Goomba boss fight bosses in particular, they both go right next to each other because they're both decent in their own right. You know? Oh, yeah. What would you give this one? Uh, yeah, I'll still give it three stars, but like, it's, uh, yeah, it's mid. I swear, Color Splash should have given us a remix of this boss theme. Honest, this is probably the good thing I would say for Kamek that I really like. You know, Kamek has his own little, little unique sort of theme, right? Like I would say, it works so well to hear it three times in the modern trilogy. And the next Paper Mario game that comes out, please give us this theme again. The Blue Wizard theme. But here is Kamek. I, I think you know who it is. Oh, oh yeah, you get the Mario music for a thing. Yeah, we're right. Yeah. This theme should not be that as good as it is in a game that's easily treated yeah. as one of the worst games in Paper Mario but history. It's good, though. I think the whole jazzy style has... It's worn off, but I'm not going to lie and I say it like... I would say this is probably Sticker Star's best boss theme in the entirety of all the bosses. Which is not saying much because Kamek's one of my... Not my favorite... It's not one of my favorite boss fights in the game, but at least the theme, like, slaps, you know? It's at least a good theme. But, no. Yeah, like, again, I think the jazz style has kind of overstated its welcome. Oh, yeah, I agree, but it's at least good enough. I agree with that. Yeah, the jazz. Yeah, but I don't compare with jazz. Jazz is good. That's so overstated. It's welcome. Yep. Yeah. So far, we've done all. Of, so far, done the first three Paper Mario games. So far, the best theme in the first original trilogy is the Ultimate Show. Uh, Are you really surprised? You guys were doing that. I was watching the Fallout TV show. Oh, how was it? Yeah, it's really good. Really? Yeah. Huh. Or, or, at least, or at least my best theme is The Ultimate Show. My worst theme is Grotus. So, for obvious so reasons. I am, I am going to say, if you know nothing about Fallout, I don't think you'll enjoy it as much. No, I don't know much about Fallout. Oh, wait, is Fallout, but with the, is Fallout with the one guy who has the blue, wearing the blue suit as, as a check mark, as a thumbs up? Uh, yeah. Okay, that is all I know about Fallout. I mean, there's a fighter costume for me in Smash Ultimate. The Vault Boy. Oh yeah, the game where they all live in vaults. No, not all of them. They're still in the wasteland. Oh, okay. Not everyone. Okay. Oh. It... Yeah. So we have next up is actually Tower Power Pokey.
Yeah, m a three star. My opinion, it sounds like. Okay, I'm gonna say it, it sounds like the new Super Mario Bros. Desert theme. I wonder why. I mean, uh, well, d well, obviously, if you really think about. I also gave it a three star initially when I first did this theme in particular. I don't know, it just seems like but, generic desert battle theme. Yeah, I give you that. If I have to be honest, I'm gonna honestly kind of give it actually a four star, but I'm also gonna do something different. I'm gonna actually downgrade Kamek a little bit to four stars, but put this one actually above it. Like a after mulling it over. Yeah, I like okay. I like Kamek thing. Don't get me wrong. I like the theme. You know, I'm not fond of jazz over in general, but Tower Power Pokey. I have much more of an interest in his theme kind of because, well, for starters, I made a freaking plush of him, so there's that. And his theme... Out of all the Boston stickers, I have the most memories with PD, with Tower Power Pokey and Kamek of Sticker Star. So, it's a good theme in its own right. It's not five stars. I don't think any Sticker Star theme is going to be it's five good, stars. but not great. Yeah. That's the best. Yes. So Next, maybe yep. down to three. I'll keep it like, four. I'll keep it four stars for the time being. If I want to drop it down to three, I can do so. So next up is the Wiggler segments, because yes, that counts as the boss theme. Just can't listen to sniff there with it. <laughs> That's the emotion I get from this. Eight. Eight. Yeah, like... Those segments are annoying. Literally, yeah, those I segments. I can see why go on. I don't like it. Never. The worst part of one of the best characters of Sticker Star being Wiggler. Not yeah, Th that I don't. Did not age well. No, one stars. It's better than Grotus. Okay, it's better than Grotus. <laughs> I'll give it that. At least it's better than Grotus, <laughs> but it's still crap. <laughs> no, no, no. You need to put one segment for each fight. <laughs> I kid, I kid, don't actually do it, however, it will be funny if you did that, just put an entire Wiggler there. <laughs> Poor Grotus, he's behind four Wiggler segments. <laughs> it's not, it's just bad, but, hey, at least it's better than Grotus. That's all I can say. I think it's very good because Paper Mario hate. Well, no, I, no, no, oh, no, no, hate. actually, not really, I just, I just hate Grotus in general. So there's no TTYD hate, it's just I hate Grotus. So yes! Gooper Blooper has... Definitely more of a... Definitely more of kind of a generic. Like an introduction to a rhythm game. It is. I mean, even, I mean, even the fight itself has the whole... Yeah, I know, I know. I know the fight is kind of rhythm-based with how the attacks are. But...
<laughs> I mean... It's... To be honest, I'm gonna give it actually kind of 4 stars, but I might also drop Kamek down to 3 stars for me. I think Kamek's is better. Or maybe keep it 4 stars as well. But I have to give it credit, the other thing credit though, is at least that when once you poison the blooper, the Marlboro Steam plays, which is actually pretty good in its own right. So I have to give it actually credit. To you. I mean, yeah, according to me. But it's a neat detail. I mean, it's a neat, yeah, it's a neat detail. But I'll give it four stars. Compared to how I initially gave it, yeah. which was actually three stars before, I'll give it that sort of praise. Is it. I'm, I'm so. I'm still keeping mine three stars. Is it really great? I mean, it's okay. I guess, yeah, I'll keep it four. Four. Mm, yeah, four stars. I mean, pandemic. four stars. Like, I at least can actually bop to the theme now. Because when I first played Sticker Star, when I fought this fight, I fought this fight with no sound. Because I was trying to play it, you know, sneaking, you know, classic kid moves, trying to sneak playing games in the middle of the night, right? So the fight itself I mean, was ass for me. Because I always kept on struggle. Well, even without the sound, it the rhythm is televised. I, I, I was a very dumb. I was a very dumb kid, so I had struggled with well, counterattacks. It was a massive skill yeah, you can see, you can see skill see issue. Dumb now. Well, I know, it, well, yeah, say? well, skill issue. I would say. I much I don't like. Much I don't like that phrase. I can definitely say it was skill issue for Goober Blooper. Did you ever get caught during the night? A few times. Like, I'm telling you, I'm still. I still do that during the night. Like oh, a few times, I'm, but that's. So yeah, next up is Mr. Blizzard, the last ice boss theme. Oh, yeah. So, so far we've had the epic Crystal King, a mid bone chill. How does Mr. Blizzard fare? Definitely has that over stay jersey game. Yeah, Zumbo, what'd you give it? Uh, three star. Okay. Like, I'm sorry, it's not a good, like, theme. Okay. Why, then why rate it as high as three? I'm like, gonna put it good. two stars. No. I don't know. As, uh, two stars, I mean, I like Mr. Blizzard's story. That's probably the best thing that Mr. Blizzard has, is a whole story of what he, like, he wants just to live again. But... Theme wise, Corey in Sticker Star. Yeah, like Sticker Star honestly has better, smaller stores for each of the th royal stickers compared to like say the not overall. Really? I mean, they're not. Again, Mr. Blizzard probably has the best. Yeah, has the best story out of the five royal sticker bosses, you know, but it has the, it's the weakest of the five royal. Royal Sticker Boss themed. It's definitely the weakest for me. So, two stars. Yeah. So, what would you give it, Glock? I... I mean, if you were rating it. Top of one. Hmm. Do you want... I guess in... You'll, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure to send you actually the link to the playlist, or the list, if you, to your list if you want to actually I mean, rate... I, I mean, I don't really have much experience with all the paper bar. 
Mario games, so all I could really do is rip the stick of Star Boss themes, and that that's it. Don't worry. Ah. Color Splash at least makes up for Sticker Star's faults with Koopalings. Yeah. Two stars. But I'm honestly not much. I'm, I'm not really fond of PD Prana in general. So, ignoring my bias from a side, or anti-bi, or negative bias. No, no, that, even though it's, oh, it's, bi it's still just bias. Yeah, it's still bias. Even though, Whether for or against. I don't really care for his theme. Like, yeah. PD Prana has much better theme, boss themes, in other games. Like, like, even again, Mario not, Party. Like, it has been some amount of time since I have played that game and listened to these themes, and oh boy, nails on the chalkboard. That one star. Alright. So what was the next up is actually Bowser. I do kind of wish Final Castle would have was much better, you know? At least the final Bowser level, which is much way better than what we got, but eh. Three yeah. star, three stars. It's. Same. I mean, yeah, three stars. It's not a bad final boss theme, but it's not. It's just not great. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> it, it, it. Yeah, and now for cardboard Bowser because. Oh, oh, no, sorry, I should be more accurate. It's Supreme Sparkling King, comma, Bowser Battle. Oh, right. Just kidding. It's called Cardboard Bowser. Oh, Bowser just took a bath in glitter.
about the same. I think right between next to each other. Both themes deserve each other. Trying to put jazz and rock together. It, yeah, it's, it's possible. possible. This ain't it. Yeah, it's possible, right. but it doesn't do the right way. This theme, in my opinion, yeah, it's good. Yeah, okay. No, well, okay, that's, I mean, decent. So our average is actually, let's see how much our average is right here. I got this all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so well, stick my stick of star average is a two point eight one eight two. So Mel, how many five stars do you have of stick of star? Zero. How many four stars? Zero. How many three stars? Yeah. There should be eleven themes total. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six. Six. Okay. How many two stars? Two. Yeah, it's two. Hmm. Okay. And how many? Yeah. The rest are all one stars. Uh, yeah, it's one. How, how many one stars exactly? No, 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 oh, no, no, two. There's, there's two one six, stars. Two one. Okay. Wait. Six. Eight, ten. You're missing one. Oh, I'm missing one. What am I? Which one am I missing? Four. Let me. Let me recount there. One, two, three, no, then no, that's good. One, two, three. Oh, okay, it was three two stars. I think I said... Three two stars? Yeah, I think I missed one in that one. So, yeah, uh, you have a little even lower rating than me. 2.3636. Well, yeah. I'm... Yeah, Sigur Star, I'm not really surprised at having a low rating. Right? Well, the things aren't that good. Like... I mean, some of them are okay. Sticker Star has... As much as I rag on TTYD, you know... TTYD at least has a few decent good themes. Enough to actually counterbalance some of the bad themes. Right? Yeah. But... Is it enough to actually make it dominate and do really well? No... But, yeah, next up is Color Splash. So first up, actually, is the fact the Spiny. So this, if you see the Spiny Mel, that's the mini bot, the event battle theme. Okay, a game I haven't played yet. Neither have I, but I played music of it. So... I gotta find the event battle theme, so... Oh yeah, so TTYD Remake releases on my birthday. Yeah. Oh, no? yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm so, oh, I'm gotta, so I, gotta, game. I gotta find it. I can't stop you. Where's it? Where is it? No, where's the theme? Do, do, do. Wait, is this theme it? No, that's the regular battle theme. Okay, I will find it. Hello, coupling, blah blah blah. I do like interesting how the the coupling, sort of the theme actually when the couplings appear is very similar to the one you get 
from oh here fearsome foe that's what it is i would say from like the origami king they use that theme right or no they don't use that different theme it's sacred stars theme more so but here is event battle Oh, I thought I went too far a little bit. Uh, thoughts? No. no. For me... Z it's... Zero if possible. <laughs> Compared to, compared to all the other mini-boss names, because it's just a mini-boss name, I actually find it better than all the other mini-boss names. Like, all the other mini-boss names, they the pale in comparison. They ba they pale in comparison. It's not five stars, but it's definitely four stars. It's definitely four stars, but there's not. It's only kind of because the rest of them are just not that great. And I do kind of like. I like the sound of it. Mel, what about you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm like gonna have to put them like two stars. Two stars? Nice. Okay. Yeah. yeah, mini boss themes They're not supposed to both be really as good as they are, but this one just All I'm gonna say is is bring back the jazz. <laughs> <laughs> like again, I would say jazz is overstated welcome. Bring but it back. Bring my... So now we have seven different couplings, so yes. This should be fun. All right. Wait for seven, different, seven slightly different variations of the exact same song. Oh, you th you think that'd be the case, right? Well, yeah. You're wrong. <laughs> Two stars, yeah. two stars, but it is the it's a, it's a top of two stars. That's what I will say. Top of two stars. Bring back the jazz. <laughs> yeah, it's mid. Top of two, top of top of two stars. It at least beats, it at least knocks Francis down from being number one spot. Oh, there is actually, I think there's actually one theme of the boss Koopalings that she has jazz, I believe. I almost, I almost bought which one, but it's not Iggy. So what do you? Where, 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 where would you? Better than that. Where, where would you? Where would you rate this one, Mel? Uh, I just said merit. So two star. star. Two star. Yes, yeah, so Next up is Iggy. 
My personal, I personal three. favorite, three stars. Yeah, I said three stars. Yeah, my personal favorite coupling Iggy. So, how's this? How's this theme fair? Bad Star Fox knockoff. The theme, the theme is technically called the theme is technically called Chariot Battle. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, like it does actually kind of sound like Star Fox. Top of four star oh, for me for just this more theme. Of like two. Yeah, okay, I can see that. Like, aer aerial battle. Mhm. Mm yeah, I can aerial see. Battle. I can. Really I can. That. I can see that. I definitely give it four stars though. I I like I think it three just kind of just for that theming. Either way, it'd probably be like at a bot low low three though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Like, like the theming, not that great. It's like Iggy definitely went better than Morton. So Iggy's at least better than Morton. That's for sure. That's fair, right? You can agree with that. Yeah. So Mel, would you rate it? Three star. Okay. Next up, Ludwig. Oh, yeah. I will say these are rather quiet. Hold on, let me. Bro. My volume's at max. Might just be. Yeah, no, I I had to turn up. I had to turn some sound up on my end. Yeah. yeah. No, it, not too far. <laughs> if it wasn't for the trumpet, I'd say it's kind of generic. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not the biggest fan of Ludwig, but I have to say, I actually like Ludwig's boss theme. Like, it's really good. So I'm giving it five stars, but I'm putting it below Crystal, behind Crystal King. You know? Like, I like Ludwig's theme. What would you give him? Like, I like it. That's all I would say. Oh, three star. Three star, ooh. Yeah, and good. Glock for you? Yeah, I'd have put in three stars as well. Wendy is next.
it joins Ludwig in five star. I do. I, ca- I, I do. I, I wish those people would stop calling her a hoe. <laughs> I, I I like the pirate theming of it. You know, like even even if Nintendo had not done the couplings, if they had kept the theme that they gave him, I could definitely see actually a pirate, some sort of like a pirate captain being like a boss at the very end of this sort of like arc, right? You know. No, 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 no. no. Vikings. You need more Vikings. I actually can see that. But definitely ship, co- but definitely naval combat. Yes. Or combat on a naval vessel. Yep. We can agree there. Yes, we can agree there. Next up is, well, Lazy Larry. Ah, yay, Lazy Larry. I'm just kidding, it's not it's just Larry. <laughs> Sorry, the car, we're not hitting Larry. <laughs> I swear, I'm thinking of that one song, the one did the, with Pet Mario Color Splash with the lyrics with Larry Koopa, and they did the SpongeBob voice. I'm just hearing that in my head. I don't know why. <laughs> I swear, I'm not really trying to think of it. It's just I have to give it actually a low two stars for that alone. It's an awful theme, but I have to give it the theme because the two stars because. I still hear it in my head. <laughs> so I hear this song. <laughs> if you haven't seen, if you, you can look at the one the list that Lucario found. It was like Pit Mario Color Splash with lyrics. It's stupid. But yeah, two stars. What you, Mel? Yeah, two stars. I don't like it. I don't like it that much. Larry honestly is the weakest of the Koopalings in terms of boss themes. One from me. Weakest, weakest yeah. coupling. Personally, they should have just re- They should have just called him Lazy Larry and reused someone else's theme. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I really what they feel like they should have done. It's like Smorg is is another boss fight that does a whole train gimmick, but does it way better. You know, it feels intense. You're fighting on a train, right? Larry's like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're on a train. Let's just have fun. Oh, Honestly, we're on a train. So wacky. Well, well, what they really well, should have done? Shut your pants. Yeah, what they really should have done was actually maybe done something more like, and I, and I don't like country or western, but they should have done something more country like, you know, for Larry. That would have worked much better. Or heck, give it more of an train intense robbery. train robbery. Or give it one of those intense, you know, like the train speeding up and Knife tries to, try to help stop Larry to help try to stop the train. Give it that whole train intense. Train robbery. Yeah, train robbery. So we have a Lemmy. How does Lemmy fare? Ah, uh, yeah. And if you're watching this, we're ranking your favorite characters. Or Aiden. Yep. It gets <laughs> <laughs> Aiden tier.
keep a Yard Kooplings as well. Or at least yeah. the three, three really good, two really good ones. I like the theme. I don't. I'm not fond. Of, I'm not fond of. I'm not fond of circuses in general, but I like the theme, and it it fits. You know, like all all the, each 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 Koopling boss theme, save for really Morton and Larry, at least fit their areas of where they're fought. Right. You could probably say. I I I've, I've never played it. I have no idea. Well, yeah, Lemmy is fought in a circus. Circus tent. And Lemmy is known for being the one with a the clown. balls. Yeah. He's, 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 he's the, the one with the big balls. He loves yeah. balls. Yes. Yeah. And he'll basically fight you with balls. <laughs> yes. Now for the last and final coupling. And that would be... Bowser Jr. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's Roy. What do you? And, and, the, and I like and I like the theme name of the theme, Roy O Rumble. Yep. It's oh, yeah. it's dumb, but it's it's. Remember, we have to do this four times. Oh yeah, four times. Oh yeah, for each of the different themes for yellow, blue, and black. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, five stars. No, I I opposite one star. Opposite one star. <laughs> one star. Yeah. <laughs> like it has yeah. some good parts, but overall theme is ass. <laughs> what you Mel? And now it's time to rank. What, wait, no, wait, Mel, what, what, would you, what would you give it, Mel? Oh, I, I just said. I, I said three star. I didn't hear you the first time. Okay, well, it's, well, it's three star. Okay, so what were your reasons for that? For three stars? Eh, it just, it's very mid. Like, I mean, honestly, like, okay, there's some good. Okay, like Lock, there are some good parts, but it's not that good of a song. So now we have Black Bowser. Yeah, Black East Bowser. He did not I have. Draw. I will give at least Color Splash credit. The Black Bowser Castle theme is really good. Like final areas for all the Paper Mario games, except for Sticker Star. Let's let's, let's really count the airship. You will concede that point. Yeah, I will at least concede. Like they really good. So here's Bowser Battle. And that'll be the Bowser that's facing you.
All right, Mel, you go first. What are your thoughts? Uh, mid. So three stars. I'm gonna yeah, give, it, give it four stars, but I'm gonna probably put it below Dementio. It's. That has got to be one of the worst Bowser themes I've ever heard. What? Yeah, well, you haven't heard Super, you haven't heard to prepare Mario's or even some of sixty four's themes. No, no, I, I just keep he hearing someone just slamming their key their hands on a p on the piano keys. You know what? I just keep hearing that. I I see it in my head. Mm. Like I. I may not be fond of the idea of Black Bowser, or at least how the ending of the game works, and how like Bowser's the one at fault, even though it was really his, it was just his own stupidity. But at it's least the final, boss. at least they do a really solid job at the final boss theme. It doesn't have that same but Super Mario I haven't heard vibes. Of Scrotus, but I haven't heard of Scrotus. I don't what know you have it at the bottom? I. I still want to hear it. And you're there. Yeah. We, I mean, can we go play it right now? Just quickly? Yeah, just, here's here's Grotus. Yeah, just Grotus. Yeah. You can oh, hear bro. it. <laughs> I, I, I thought it was after where I could make a judgment. Yeah. The Black Bowser theme is worse. I, I'm sorry. It, it, it's just terrible. Really? So you, yeah. you, so you put Black Bowser worse than Grotus? What would you, what would you give Grotus rating yourself? Look, Grotus isn't that great. Like I agree with you there. It, it's not that great. It would still be one star, but Black Bowser were at least above, ahead of the Wiggler segments, at least. Yeah, but I haven't heard the other theme, so I don't know. All I have is the Wiggler segment ranked. Yeah, so at least ahead of the Wiggler segments. Yeah, but holy, just Black Black Bowser's is terrible. That's only that's only phase one. But there's a phase two. Well, yeah. yeah. Bowser regains his regains his conscious, realizes what's going on. For the paint, all of a sudden, sucks up, empowers, hits him, blinds him completely, and he's fully possessed. I prefer. I'm go first. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Should have been phase one. <laughs> yeah, it's better than phase one. And it's the last Bowser theme you hear for any Paper Mario boss, Paper Mario Bowser boss theme. At least they end off on a solid note. It's. Actually, pretty good. It's it was not a five star one. 
Yeah, de definitely not a five star, but again, still should have been phase one, and they got they got rid of the phase one on fight. Yeah, that that's my verdict. Yep, and now I average that. So an average of forty. Oh crap! I just, average of forty for me. So basically, color splash now actually has the highest ranking for themes for me, which actually is an improvement from what I had before, which is initial was an initially was in fact 3.8 probably because Larry went up by a little bit and yeah pretty much so Mel how many five stars do you yeah. have zero how many four stars zero how many one stars well, huh? <laughs> got you there <laughs> oh, God, no. okay just kidding how many three stars do you have how many negative 12 stars do you have? <laughs> There's only one right answer. Yeah, I know. Zero. It's one, and it's that Black Bowser theme that I <laughs> keep saying is awful. Yeah, but how, how many three stars do you have now? Remember, it's seven Kooplings, oh, the oh, Spiny, oh, oh, oh. and the two Bowsers. Two Black Bowsers. Hold on, I'm counting them. Hold on, I'm counting them. Uh, yeah, seven. Seven, well. And how many two stars? Uh, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen
<laughs> there will be no French in this VC while I'm here. <laughs> Just kidding, don't. All right. Worse than the previous. Like it's a it's a three star for me. Three star at best, maybe two. High three star for me. I think honestly, I'll probably just put it above Fractale. Which I guess, in well, if you want to hear that theme, it's Super Mario. I, I'll, I'll probably do it at my you know, at some point. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, you have, the whole, you have the whole KH Insider list. It has all the different themes. You can find them all with ease. Uh, if you want to listen to them, we make it easier. As well as there, well as a tier list. I think I can send the one that I made get sent to Mel to you. So on your own time, you can then go and put the different ratings. You can even just. Keep the whole. Yeah, yeah, but you could, you could even do the whole. Tomorrow or yeah. eventually sometime today. You could even do the whole joking, putting like, a bunch of different tiers and having like a bunch of do like a negative tier for <laughs> Black Bowser Phase One. <laughs> it that it will have its own tier. <laughs> so now we have. It is just that bad. I do. I will. I do actually like. How they gave the TTYDs actually different battle themes, unique variations. Like, I like how they did that. The one thing they brought back from Origami King was that... I hope they do that for, like, future Paper Mario games. Right? <laughs> future Paper Mario games, that's a good one. That's true. Because we, we don't know for a fact that in 2028, we're going to be getting Super Paper Mario Remake. For seventy dollars, yes, or maybe even eighty dollars. Yes. Either now, I do actually like how, for the rubber band, the Elastic Entertainer has probably the most. It's the most unique introduction for a boss, right? But here's a boss theme. It's going down. <laughs> Rating is going down ever more. <laughs> I like this theme. They started off with a relative banger. 
And that was the best so far. Five stars. Mm. It's, 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 it's behind Ludwig for me, but five stars. Now, yeah, technically next boss, be, next boss is going to be Paper Macho Goober Blooper, so... We're going to go to him next. We still had Bobby. Fuck Bobby. How? You're yeah, not as bad as Black Bowser, but still pretty bad. It's ain't a mid. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like, like I, I feel like they wanted to try to do something with that's kind of like a Jaws theme, maybe, but it just doesn't work. Jaws, but with tentacles. No, Jaws with jazz, it just doesn't work. Oh, we. Oh, yeah. Weren't you asking for? No, we don't need to. I mean, honestly. But yeah, it, it, it reminds me of the Black Bowser theme. Low three stars, like I, I th on, right. for me, it's better than Robot L, L type. I don't actually like the fight as much. I mean, it's low three stars is still catching its own right, but it's not great. But it's better. That's what I would say. Could it be better? Yeah, I will uh, give it absolutely. I will give it credit. All right, credit for one thing. So, so for me, one star, but in between the, the segments and Grotus. Mm -hmm. I would, I would give it, I'll give it credit because at least it's the first of the three bosses that at least has that sort of like unique battle style. Which I do hope they actually do that sort of thing again, having like two different like boss fight gimp battles, right? With like the regular regular battles and like overworld theme battles, those are pretty cool. So next up, yeah, Farewell Bobby. Just no, we're not gonna worry about that. Farewell Bobby, he will be next. I get fuck Bobby, or at least fuck what Bobby represents. Um, Mega Paper Macho Pokey. Gives me that like Arabian vibes. Is this a, supposed to be a desert theme? Yeah. Well, well, it was. It's, it's fought in the desert. Yeah. So what would you give yeah, it? But it's definitely see? better than the blooper one. Okay, let's see here. Uh... Yeah, is it better than blooper. I'd say low three. Yes. Mid, but mid again, fuck Bobby. Fuck what he represents. It's like, oh, hey, here's this guy. It's like we were. We I think the partners. idea was that he was actually so supposed to be a fat Bobby. No, I'm just a bomb. I... bomb. Forget about the partners. I think it was mainly because he was supposed to be a factory made bomb, bomb, and it was just like the. I mean, I don't know really much. Again, just 
I like Bobby, but I don't like him really like... I mean, I like him, but I don't like him, like, a whole lot, right? I mean... You, you can see what I mean, right? Yeah, like... No... Born, uh, born Bob Bomb. Just a factory Bob Bomb. Oh, oh, they're like, oh, partners are back. It's Bobby. I. Ugh. Yeah, you you sound like a lot of the like normal classic Paper Mario fans who really do not like Bobby. Like that's one of the things I would say that puts people yeah, on both like, edges. I, I do agree with the, those Paper Mario fans on that. For me, but, I for me, I have the stance in saying that there are really no bad bob -omb partners. Like, I will put Bobby next it, to, like... No, again, everything... Again, my entire criticism is not of Bobby's character. It's just... As a whole, the... Bobby or that bob -omb's character. Yeah, okay. It's just everything about him. Like, oh, he's meant to be a partner, but he's not a partner. He's a partner, but not a partner. He does a story, but not... It's... No. No. Next up is... Yeah, next up is Hole Punch. Oh, yeah. I gotta find it first. Oh, here we go. Disco Devil. I would tend to fart again. You weren't. Thoughts? You wanna know where I put it? out of 10, no disco. Put that baby in five, five star. <laughs> Why? Zero out of 10, no disco. What? Well, don't tell me. You weren't think you weren't playing Juno song of that, of that song in your head. A bit of both. I'll give it four stars. But it's probably low four stars. But but in all seriousness, it it it's not that great. Um, like I listen to a lot of weird. I can listen. I listen to a lot of stuff, and some of it can be pretty weird. So my tastes are kind of warped. But at the same time, it's not that great. Yeah. Okay. Like bottom of four at max, I'd say. Hey, well, my recommendation to you: bottom of four at max. But yeah, I put it. My I put actual it... opinion: somewhere low threes. Yeah, maybe. so pretty Either much low threes or top of two. Alrighty, next up is the tape. So, hey Gluck, you want you want a piece of me? I'm just kidding. I feel like you just look at me like. What? Sorry, it's just it's. So up, up, up next is tape.
for me personally? Started off as a five, definitely a three. Um, five stars for four. me. Five stars for me, it's probably... It, it, it actually kind of passes Count Black for me. So actually, it's better than Count Black. Okay. Up next is actually, well, boss battle. Because, yeah, okay. Hmm. Where are you? Yeah, well, that big nickname? Well, the best nickname of all. <laughs> boss battle. Or, actually, wait, this. And this is Aiden's favorite theme. I can sort of agree with him on that, but three stars for me. Yeah, it's better than the other thing. Like literally, just a better version of that last of the previous theme. It's in the middle, three stars. Next is actually Paper Mistake, Buzzy Beetle. It joins the other yeah. Paper Macho themes. When they took they took the worst parts of the last two themes and, and smashed it with an orchestra. Middle of three star for One me. One star. Middle of three stars. Yeah. So next up is the Dual Blade Duelist. Mel? Uh, 
this one is a uh, where is it? Where'd you did it? Oh, uh, three star. Okay. Why? Uh, like it's just I don't know. It's just very bland. Like it's very mid in my opinion. I do. I mean, I'll give it four stars. I mean, I like the whole like. It's well scissors, right? The most terrifying thing of a paper like being and it's I guess you could say the part I don't I, like I about it that, I can think of something that's a bit more terrifying than scissors for paper. Fire. What? Well there's that. A paper shredder. Water. Uh okay, go on. okay. Fair. Yeah. Well, but what water you can at least water can paper beings at least can sort of survive. Fire they get destroyed instantly. I mean water they get wet but soggy and stuff. But scissors just is just instant murder. The instant murder for paper. I would give it middle uh, high it, four stars. I wouldn't say instant. But remember, a pet can always be stopped at some point. Right. Like you can always stop uh, petting right before or you hit it, which then only leaves a slight tear. Yep. <laughs> now the next theme is actually a giant paper origami crane. Now I did not really know it actually counted as a boss theme. Until I saw a video was like it says, "Okay, here are all boss fights in Paper Mario the Origami King." And guess what? That Wait, boss so fight actually counts. What type of crane are we talking about? The bird. Yep. Or the construction equipment. Not the bird. Big or, the big origami like plane. Yep. I guess then, if you want me to give you those pictures, if you want to add them on there, because it doesn't add them directly, because you have to add them yourself. I can give them to you. It's up to you if you want to add them or not. You don't really have to. Alright? You can add them if you want to. If you don't want to add them, it doesn't matter. This is one of the more optional ones. Alright. But here it is. A, a, theme particular, a theme in particular is called Dog Ear to Fight. No. Uh, three star. Good luck. I I have to give it a two. <laughs> I think Glock hates it. I'm gonna give it a low three star as well. I don't know. With duck, I I figured something that might go with a dog fight that. That might go more along the lines of a dog fight, and just ended up disappointed. Yeah, kind of, kind of, kind of like Iggy's theme from Color Splash, right? That was, that was yeah. more. That was more like, yeah. Yeah. Again, to. I mean, you really. You, I mean, you can kind of going at high. Two things going at each other at high speeds. Yeah. That, that that's Iggy's fight. You can kind of see why I didn't even realize this actually was a theme. So, like, probably... 
just again, I I am just disappointed. Well, we have the last of the Legion of Stationary left. Yep. Oh. That's fairly close to something I would listen to IRL. Hmm. Me? What would you, you give it, Glock? I, I like it. I gave it a four stars. Nice. Like, a, a good oh. four stars. What about you, Mel? Four stars, well. For me, five stars. I actually like this theme. I would put it below Roy, but... It's really good. I feel bad for the Cool Bros, though, because they were in first place for Whoa. so long. And they just got outclassed by if, all if, these things. If I'm going to give a theme five stars, it has to be something that I would actively avoid to make it so that every time I listen to it, it's special. Yeah. A lot of these themes, in particular, if I'm listening to them, I'm walking the dog, I will actually keep listening to them. Any theme in particular, if I'm listening to the entire Paper Mario soundtrack, I'm more likely to listen to 5, 4, and 3 stars, while 2 and 1, I'm like likely to just skip them instantly. You know? The lower the star rating, the more likely I'm going to yeah, skip I, them. I get that. So now, we have the final battle. We have all or, Phase one, two, and three. So here's phase one. It better be better than Black Bowser. Yeah, there is technically a versions of the whole King Oliver's Mega Bowser rush where you know Bowser's pushing King Ollie off so. the edge or vice versa. But we're only looking at the base theme of it. Alright. Still better be better than Black Bowser. <laughs> I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna be honest. I have oh. good news. It's better. <laughs> I'll be honest, I do for me, I think King Ollie's first phase theme is his best theme. 
So it's five stars for me. Yep. <laughs> but I'll give all you a big. I would be inclined to agree. Wow. Five stars for you as well. Yeah. Um, yep. Congratulations. Yeah. It my me as well. Like five star. All you get the five star and a heart. Uh, well, Right, I get with how I've been writing things, most of Origami's themes have been stinkers. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. It, and we, and we have opinions, and we have most... no, we have no idea how you how your themes would fare with the other first three Paper Mario games. Everything else. But yeah, just. And we'll find out either I later on. Has, on these, 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 these guys kind of suck. And it's time to do the epic second phase. Yes. The only time I swear Bowser actually fights on your... S well... The only time there is there's never even a Bowser boss fight. All right, Glock. First range was better. Well, I uh, not four, really without maybe three. That's four. Not really what I was expecting. I'm gonna put it middle of three. I think honestly. I put, I put it between the two Goombas. That's where I put it. Like I yeah. think I think Goomba King honestly is way better, you know. But why is it why is it so bland in the in this version? But when there's lyrics involved, it's better. Ignoring ignoring lyrics aside, it's. I mean, hey, for a for a Bowser battle, I'll I'll at least say one thing though. It's at least a better Bowser boss battling another boss theme than Bounce Side Story's boss theme. Yeah. That sounds like a mouthful. So now, the final battle. The final battle.
Good luck. Yeah. It was fine up until those people started singing. The, the opera, basically. I'm giving it four yeah, stars. fine up until the opera. Exactly. I'm giving it four stars. Uh, it's... It, it just really took me out of it. Four stars. Probably relatively high four stars, I would say. Not... Like, I know I've been rather harsh. Huh. Yeah, okay. I'm giving it a two. But that's still, like, I know I've been rather harsh, and I'm still going to be harsh. It's a two. <laughs> okay. My rating. Oh, I gotta tell my rating. Go ahead. Mine, it's five star. Five star? Yeah. No offense, boss, but the opera sounds good. It's a... Again, it, I'm, I'm not saying the operatic section is bad. It just took me out of it. All right. It now, just lessened my enjoyment of the song. Mm -hmm. Now for the final thing to go over, Mel. So, if you recall correctly, we have. Oh, sure, I gotta find my calculator first. My phone. We have 16 themes for 64. Yep. We have 14 themes for TTYD, 15 themes for Super, 11 themes for Sticker Star, 10 themes for Color Splash, and then 15 themes for Origami King. For 81 themes total. Yep. Now, we'll, we'll note the word thing aside. So, how many Origami King 5 stars do you have? Now, my average for me was a 3.8. So, in I'm terms of sure. boss music, technically, Color Splash should be winning. Technically. Okay. So, right. how many 5 stars do you have? Can I say my 5 stars? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. One, three. Three 5 stars? Yep. How many 4 okay. stars? Five. Five four stars. So twenty. How many three stars? I see Mill's been rather harsh. Seven. Seven three stars. How many two stars? Zero. And one star is zero as well? Yep, yeah, yeah, zero for one star as well. Wow, well, okay, my average actually slightly better than yours. Yours is 3.733 repeating. Okay, well, yeah, so it looks like so far, your best Pit Mario rating, or Gomi King's your best, your worst actually is actually a sticker star, for obvious reasons. Now, if we went ahead and did the whole Paper Mario total average, I require a lot of counting and stuff. <laughs> 81 different, 81 themes. This is your total average. So, Mel, count how many five stars you have, or just, or just count okay. how many. Five, I mean, how many you have, and I'll let me know the numbers when you're done. So, okay, how many five stars? Five, five ten. Five, ten, 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 five stars. Ten, 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 Hold on, I'm doing my own first. Just count them all first. Count your count okay. yours first. No, you... no, I'm, okay. do, I'm, do, no, no I'm, do, I'm doing mine first. Just give me a sec. There's like, three stars is the most bulk out of all of them, I would say. So, here here is my results. Just to let you guys know, my total average is a 
for pay more average is 3.3703 three repeating three repeats over rate space so 3.3704 now this is actually for me this is actually interesting though because only ttyd sticker star and 64 have a lower average than the overall average while super mario color splash and origami king have the biggest highs or at least high enough i would say in terms of averages not too bad. Average three stars. I mean, when you see all the different themes, all most of the things are on three stars overall. It kind of makes sense, right? So Mel, how many five stars do you have? Uh, ten. How many four stars? Twelve. Oh. Hold on. Well, four stars. How many three stars? How many? Thirty eight. Wow. And you said 12 four stars? Yeah. Okay. How many two stars? Uh, eight. Eight. Okay. Eight four stars. Okay. Eight four stars. And how many one stars? Four. Wow. You're less than me. 250 total points... Star rating. Total. Let, let, let's be honest. If I, if I made this list, I'd probably have the most amount of one stars. Oh, who knows? You haven't heard the first three Paper Mario games, though. Yeah. So your average, is, so your average metal so far is at 3.0864. Which, for you, puts... Actually... Oddly enough, only Super Paper Mario Origami King actually go above the average. Hmm. Sticker Star, Color Splash, 64, and TTYD as you're below at, below the average of your Paper Mario average. Hmm. Kind of interesting. Now, I guess in Glock, do we give you actually at least a preview of at least of the best boss theme for me, in my opinion? Actually, Mel, out of curiosity, which Paper Mario boss theme was your worst theme? Uh, which one? Which which one was which which which, which, which one is the farthest right one star theme? Farthest farthest right. Yes. Like which which one is the absolute worst? Clover. What? God, that spells oh, oh, grovel, grovel, grovel. <laughs> I'm sorry, but what? The TTYD boss, okay? Grotus. Yeah, Gro. What is that? I'm, I'm you said Grover. Wait, did, did you? <laughs> he said Grover. He said Grovel. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I agree. Gross is the worst boss for me. Now, what's the best theme for you, Mel? What the top left of five star? Top left. Oh no. Well, top left. Uh, ro- robot. The first Rob- one. Robot first one. Yep. For me, it's the ultimate show. So. Yeah. We will be listening, to, so I'll let you listen to the ultimate show. I am downloading this pair list.
it it's not bad. You can honestly see kind of why I put it like. So, what would you give your rating on your opinion on that one? High three star, maybe bottom of four. Hmm. Well, I can't wait to like, see the with how I've been rating things. That's high praise for me. Yeah. Well. Right. Yeah, that's true. Well, I guess I can't wait to hear your results in your tier list. You can probably share it in the list type of thing in your oh. Discord server as well. And we'll see exactly, you know, what others think. Especially someone like, say, Lucario. I have so I can send it to mm -hmm. Lucario, send it to maybe Star, send it to Susie. Let them see their thoughts. For in terms of themes, they can just open up the playlist and just listen to the themes itself. Right, make oh, it easier yeah. for them. Should should me and you both post our tier list in the subreddit? Don't not right off the bat. I'm gonna okay, I'm gonna post it after I. I'm gonna post it much probably in a in a week maybe. Okay. I'll probably I might do the same. But actually. wait, just wait until after my post comes out. But don't do it rap. Don't do it like deliberately. Like just wait. Okay, just wait. You wait. You wait till next Sunday. I can post it a little bit earlier. Test the waters. See how people react. Otherwise. Okay. If I had to really do any sort of changes, maybe. I do kind of wonder how the TTYD remakes boss themes are going to fare. Especially with some of the ones that... Well... Will they make it jazz? Will they make them better? Like Grotus, Macho Grubba, the Dragon... You like jazz? Yeah. Nintendo. I mean... At least, I mean, blocking. only one, two, three, blocking four, five. Jazz. No, no, five. no, no, I'm joking. <laughs> five of the, oh, no. of the five of the boss themes, honestly, are really for me not great. And yeah, sure, I dissed on Magnus von Grapple quite a bit, but oddly enough, I actually gave it kind of three stars, which I guess saying it grew on me. It's not a great theme. I don't actually like the fights in general. The theme is at least kind of fine. G match G Lord Crumb's best battle is honestly his chapter 5 battle. You know, using his minions instead of the mechs. I don't like the mech suit. But yeah, that's pretty much it, I would say. Right? Yep. Yeah. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Or I, tonight. Actually, you know, hold on to it. But... Could, could you send me, like, list of the songs I should listen to? Oh, I like, didn't. I know you have all of them, but... Oh, yeah, all like, you, yeah, the actual yeah. names of the songs. Oh, yeah, um... That, that's what I... I can... Actually, I think there's actually... I could probably give you a good list of themes. I'll, I'll do the list when I get a chance. If, if you give me... Yeah, just... Just when you have a chance. Yeah, I'll do that. For which, for all, all for which themes do you want me to give them to you? For at least for at least sixty four, TTYD and Super, right? Just for those three. I, I, I'd still give them all because again, rankings might change. At least because now you've listened to them on your own. Yeah. Okay. Rankings might change, but. That'd be a list but of each game with each boss theme. Yeah, so I'll make sure. Yeah, I'll do. I'll make sure to do that for you. Also, you have a list. Your different themes, but you can add those as well to the list yourself, and that should be fine, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, see you guys. See ya. See ya.